Question 13. How to customize the default SMS sent to guest users? Answer. We can customize the default SMS sent to guest users by executing the steps as following. At first we need to log into web admin console with profile having read and write permission for the relevant features. Then we need to go to system greater than configuration greater than messages and expand the tool SMS customization. At last we need to click on to edit the default SMS text. Question 14. What is maximum session timeout? Answer. The maximum session timeout is the time duration in minutes for which a user can be logged into CyberRoom network. Exceeding the duration as configured in the network, the user is automatically logged out and must re-authenticate to log into the network again. Question 15. How to set up the maximum session timeout globally for all users? Answer. System administrator can configure the maximum session timeout for all users by following the steps as described below. We need to log on to the web admin console as an administrator with read and write permission for relevant features. Then we should go to identity greater than authentication greater than firewall under global settings against maximum session timeout and uncheck unlimited and specify the timeout in minutes. Lastly we need to click on apply to activate the changes. Question 16. What is inactivity timeout? Answer. CyberRoom allows system administrators to set the inactivity timeout duration and data transfer threshold of all users. Inactivity timeout is the inactive or idle time in minutes after which the user will be logged out automatically and has to authenticate again. Data transfer threshold is the threshold value specified in bytes for transferring of data. If the quantum of data is not transferred within the specified inactivity time, the user will be marked as inactive. Question 17. How to configure TERS settings to automatically log out inactive users? Answer. We must be logged into web admin console with administrator privileges with read and write permission for the related task. Then we need to configure CyberRoom transparent authentication CTAS by setting the inactivity timeout and data transfer threshold for users authenticating using TERS from identity greater than authentication greater than firewall greater than TERS settings. Question 18. How to configure web client settings to automatically log out inactive users? Answer. We must be logged into web admin console with administrator privileges before configuring web clients iOS, Android and API and set the inactivity timeout and data transfer threshold for iOS, Android and API users authenticating using web clients from identity greater than authentication greater than firewall greater than web client settings. Question 19. How can we disable email notification for virtual host failover? Answer. We need to logo to CLI console via Telnet or SSH or we can access the CLI console by clicking console button on the upper right corner of the web admin console screen display. Then we need to choose option 4, CyberRoom console. After selecting CyberRoom console we can execute the following command to disable mail notifications for virtual host failover. Console set virtual host failover mail notification disable Question 20. Does CyberRoom protect organizational network against IP spoofing? Answer. The power packed feature of CyberRoom's unicast reverse packet forwarding, also called anti-spoofing, protects organizational network against IP spoofing and all kinds of attacks that utilize IP spoofing techniques like DOS attacks, etc. CyberRoom scrutinizes all incoming packets and rejects all such packets that do not carry a confirmable source of IP address. In other words, if the source IP address of a packet does not match with any entry on CyberRoom's routing table or if the packet is not from a direct subnet then CyberRoom rejects the packet. Question 21. What is CyberRoom Client? Answer. CyberRoom SSL VPN Client helps the user to access the organizational network remotely from anywhere, anytime. It provides the user with the ability to create point-to-point -point encrypted channels between remote user and the organization's internal network. Combination of SSL certificates with username and password is needed to access the organizational network. Question 22. What is a firewall on a network? Answer. Firewall is a system designed to prevent unauthorized access to or from any private networks. Firewall can be implemented either in hardware or software form, or a combination of both. Firewalls prevent unauthorized internet users from accessing private networks connected to the internet, especially the intranets. 
Question 23. What is DMZ port in CyberOM? Answer. Virtual host maps the services of any public IP address to services of a host in any private network. This virtual host is used as the destination address to access internal or a DMZ server. A virtual host might be a single IP address or a range of IP addresses or CyberOM interface itself. Question 24. Why do we need a DMZ? Answer. The second or internal firewall permits traffic only from the DMZ to the internal network. This is perceived to be more secure since two devices would need to be compromised before an attacker can access the internal run. As a DMZ segregates a network, security controls can be perfectly tuned for each and every single segment.